Hi there, welcome back to my channel, I'm JPK. Today we're going to do episode number 20, season 3 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The last one had some interesting things. Willow and Buffy decided they're going to go to Sunnydale College. I don't know what their parents will think about that. Buffy's mum's not going to be too happy and Willow's mum's kind of mean to Buffy, I think. Have I got that right? That was the uh, episode, the Hansel and Gretel episode, right? The one actually that I delete, accidentally deleted that, yeah, you never got to see the, my reaction to that. But I think it was in that episode we saw Willow's mum. There's also that thing with Cordelia. She's working in that shop. They kind of made a big deal about that. I can't really think why. I mean, it kind of implies that she's not going to college, I guess, if she's planning on working there full time. I don't know. She showed Xander the acceptance. Well, he didn't open them, but... She did well in her exams, I think, and she's a good student, so I think she probably was accepted to a number of those universities. I don't think it was a bluff or anything. So yeah, why is she? I don't know. What's her plan? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't quite get that, but we'll find out, I guess. And, um, oh, the Ascension. The mayor has his box of alien things that he's going to... I think they said, um, I think Buffy said something about munching down on them or something. Is that... I didn't quite get that. Does that mean that he's going to use them as sustenance to get through this ascension i don't know i don't really understand that but we saw what they did they were just face sucking alien things they killed uh snyder's security man didn't they and then faith killed one of them faith looked to me like she wasn't kind of happy about going ahead with this so i don't know we're we gonna see a twist here is faith gonna change her mind doesn't seem like she can now i don't think there's a way out for her she's in too deep Maybe I have that wrong, but it did look like that. Her face kind of looked that way, but we'll see. Anyway, yep, yeah, uh, let's get to it. After the prom, it'd be nice to be able to just come back here and spend some time together. The prom, the episode was called The Prom. Ooh. Oh. Did you forget? <laughs> Fucking hell. I guess it's later than we thought. I feel like eventually they're going to get to a point where it's time to, you know wants to make the relationship you know and the relationships get to that point don't they that's what happens and they're not going to be able to so i don't think they're going to get past that honestly the certainly the age buffy is and you know it, it's a thing isn't it and it, it kind of has to happen in a relationship <laughs> but we'll see i just i just can't see them sort of maintaining this kind of relationship you know being content with just fully clothed sleeping together you know it's sweet and everything, but we know it doesn't happen in the long term. Demon Anya, Punisher of evil males. Still haven't <laughs> got your powers back? You haven't, right? No. I will, though. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> Why are you talking to me? I don't have a date you for won't. prom. <laughs> well, gosh. <laughs> I wonder why not. It couldn't yeah. possibly have anything to do with your sales pitch. Men are evil. <laughs> will you go with me? One of us is very confused, and I honestly don't know which. I have all these feelings. And I don't understand it. I don't like it. All I know is I really want to go to this dance, and I want someone to go with me. <laughs> what the hell? Still my heart. No, you don't have a date. I haven't settled with no. anyone yet. Fine. Look, I know you find me attractive. I've seen you looking at my breasts. He looks at everyone's breasts. When a guy does that, it just means his eyes are open. <laughs> Whatever. Look, do you want to go with me or not? <laughs> Just look at him. Anya, huh? Interesting choice. Oh, he's, he's going over there. kind of a broad Jesus. term for my situation. Well, at least we all have someone to go with now. And some of us are go with demons, but I think that's a valid lifestyle choice. <laughs> More importantly, I have the kick dress. Angel's gonna lose it. Can Angel go to a school prom? Like, as an adult? It's a bit weird. They're gonna pass him off as a student somehow. I can't see that happening. I've got a feeling this might be the episode where they finally end it, actually. I don't know why. Just have that vibe. Summers. Oh. I'm sorry to. Uh, well, I, I would have called, but I don't have your number. You're gonna tell him to stay away. Yeah, can <laughs> I get you something? I don't have any coffee. You know, oh no, thank you. I'm here because I'm worried about you two, in general. What happened before? When I changed, it, it won't happen again. That's not all I'm really? concerned about. You're all she can see of tomorrow. But I think we both know that there are some hard choices ahead. If she can't make them, you're going to have to. I know you care about her. I just hope you care enough. Not to end it. And it had this weird sort of uh, fringy stuff on its arms. What's that, a demon? A prom dress <laughs> that Will was thinking of getting. Can't you ever get your mind out of the hell mouth? 
I'd be delighted to. A human transforming into a demon, becoming the living embodiment of an immortal, and graduation day, our Mayor Wilkins is scheduled to do just that. The trouble is we don't know which demon he's going to become. We'll get you a dress. You know we should check April Fool's. Don't go there. I shop there. Oh, that's where she works. I shall be wearing pink taffeta as chenille will not go with my complexion. Can we please talk about the essentials? <laughs> Oh shit. Demon with rabies. Show just cause. Why they should not be what the fuck? Together. This isn't happening. I don't think that's what Buffy's mum meant, was it? To do the right thing by her. This is a dream or something, surely. If it's a Buffy dream, she has premonitions in her dreams, doesn't she? So <laughs> imagine a demon being wed in a in a church. Here comes a dream transition, right? I mean, obviously it's not real. There's no guests. They need witnesses and stuff, don't they? Ooh. Shit. I hope it's not a premonition. Oh, my God. Oh, it's an angel dream. Okay, he started having these premonitions then as well, I guess. It's, uh... No, you have something, Face. I get burnt alive, Puffy. He was just trying to shake us up. He was right. No. No, he wasn't. He's the bad guy. He was right. As painful as the truth was. You should be with someone who can take you into the light. Someone who can make love to you. I don't care about that. You will. You will yeah. And, and children. Children? Before you know it, you'll want it all. A normal life. I'll never have a normal life. Right. You'll always but you can have some normality. That's all the more reason why you should have a real relationship instead of this. Yeah. This freak show. You think I haven't thought about this? Have you? Rationally. No. No, of course not. I'm just some swoony little schoolgirl, right? Yeah, actually. Because if you had thought about it rationally. Heart? You come have to the heart? same conclusion. It isn't even beating. Oof. That was harsh. I can't change. Neither can Angel. I want my life to be with you. I don't. Oh. He's doing the right thing, but it's painful for him. That's the way to do it. I think I said something like that in an earlier episode. I can't believe you're breaking up with me. The right thing to do. How am I supposed to stay away from you? I'm leaving. After the ascension. After it's finished with the mayor and Faith. If we survive, I'll go. Where? Do the angel show. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be in Buffy, at least not very often, once that show starts. This makes sense. He just, just leaves Sunnydale. Is this really happening? Accepting it? Reluctantly? Wait until she finds out Buffy's mum had a hand in this. <laughs> Jesus. Or her mum, should I say. This is only ever going to be how it ended, right? It was never going to work. He's a fool. He's just a big, dumb, jerk person, if you <laughs> ask me. Well, it's okay. You don't have to make him the bad guy. But that's the best friend's job. <laughs> vilifying and grousing. I can't breathe well. I feel like I can't breathe. <laughs> Willow's the best friend ever, isn't she? She cares for her so much. <laughs> Meanwhile, God, it's coming apart. Oh shit. Where was that and what is it? Thought we were going to get some info on what it was, but then it escaped. How long does it take you to buy a damn dress? You're going to figure out that she's working here. It positively screams nympho. Is this a nympho. customer? Or Jesus. Pet? Neither. Just stop by for my daily helping of bile. So you better get back to work and quit goofing. Mrs. Finkel's so hesitant for you. Enough to figure out in the end. You work here? <sighs> yes. Why is that such a big deal though? Why? I'm trying to buy a dress. 
but don't you already have all the dresses? I have nothing. Oh, okay? wait, her parents are mega rich, aren't no they? No dresses, no cell phone, no car. Oh. Everything she left has home. been taken away because daddy made a little mistake on his taxes for the last oh. 12 years. Oh, okay. Satisfied? Are you okay. happy, Xander, now? Wait, so I'm she can't afford to go to college? A good I can't college. Go to any of the colleges yeah. that accepted me. Okay. And I can't stay home because we no longer of course. have one. Jesus, they've lost their home. Now you can run along and tell all of your friends how Cordy finally got hers. I'm a name tag person. Don't leave that out. The story just wouldn't have the same punch. Oh shit. It's come here. The fuck? Oh, okay. Oh. I thought it had specifically come here for one of these two for some reason, but it's not. The thing had good taste. I mean, he chucked Xander and went right for the formal wear. Look at the outfit that Xander's wearing. Now look at the kid that the monster went after. This is a hellhound. Yes. Huh? It's What's that? Vicious. Trained solely to kill, they feed off the brains of their foes. What uh, were you doing with Xander? Um, I was... Burning a hole in Daddy's wallet as usual. I just uh, bumped into her during my tuxedo hunt. Keeping it secret for her. Hey, pause it. Guys, it's just a normal VCR. It doesn't... <laughs> That's bull, oh, Xander. <laughs> It can't do pause. <laughs> Tucker Wells, I'm using my camera. The Sunnydale High Lemmings have no idea what awaits them. Their big night will be their last night. From a hellhound trained to attack people in formal wear. Oh, are we all catching up now? I'm going to give you all a nice, fun, normal evening if I have to kill every single person on the face of the earth to do it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Strength in numbers would be a... You can take Cordy. If that's your plan, all right. Mm. This one's the be of Cordelia. Check and see who's been stocking up on hellhound snossages. I hear those pups do anything for a tasty treat. <laughs> Giles, you say this thing eats brains. Any brains? I suppose. Then Tucker must be feeding it, right? This kid orders cow brains a couple times a week. Mm. It's a weird kid. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks I can a imagine. Lot. What excuse would you give for purchasing cow brain? Other things eat that, like normal animals. I don't know. I guess they probably do sell them to somebody, like rather than go to waste. <laughs> and his Sorry, blood. Uh, I'm just surprised. Me too. What must they think of Angel asking him for blood? If it means anything, I miss you. Can we not, <laughs> please? Only been what a day. When I think about us, I have this tendency to sort of go catatonic. If you ever need my help... Look, I got it. As much as I hate to admit it, I haven't finished paying for it yet. Well, somebody did. Oh, has Xander done this? He afforded to, I guess so. Does Xander work? Not sure he does. I don't think his parents are rich. Now the prom starts in a little while. I want you guys to go on and I will catch up with you as soon as I put a lid on this jerk. Angel's not taking you, is he? Angel's leaving me. He's leaving town. Buffy, I'm sorry. I think G Giles genuinely is sorry though, right? It's the only one, see. really. We've got an all-male preparatory. We didn't go in for this sort of thing. Unless you count the nights you made the lower classmen get up as girls and watch them. <laughs> <laughs> he's such a weirdo. I'm not quite sure how he's able to be here though. It's kind of weird. He's not an employee of the school, is he? He's an adult, clearly. Very hard. I'm still uncomfortable with this. Like, he's not that old, is he? But he's, I don't know, he's weird. And he's creepy with it, isn't he? Can't see what Cordelia. Season him either, really. I mean, there's no indication that he's mega rich or anything. One time, a girl wished that her ex would cannibalize himself. Even I had a hard time watching that one, let me tell you. Cordelia! <laughs> Thank you. It looks good on you. Well, duh. You ready to go? Sorry, new plan. <laughs> Seems like it was easier than I thought it was going to be. Pathetic. Maybe. No, mate, that won't work on Buffy. Maybe not. That might. But me. Gotta avoid her beating you up first. Is it gonna be this easy? I'm gonna lock you in here and then I'm gonna party late. Oh, he's got more of them. Oh shit. My three fiercest babies are on their way to the dance right now. Oh no. 
How's he done this? I don't understand. Where's he get them from? <laughs> it's a shame it's not Oz's time of the month. He could have dealt with these things. Where's she running to? Come on, that song sucks. Oh, that's that's the gym, right? He's trying to lead them away, I guess. <laughs> Roundhouse, one of them. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Buffy. I mean, I know she's got the strength, but these things, fuck me. Oh, <laughs> two down, one left. Snapped his neck. Bathroom? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Good luck going after that. He's probably already gone. <laughs> In his sucks. That was his address. In with their toolkit. <laughs> I feel like Angel's going to turn up and they're just going to have one last date together. Wow, it's just stunning. Awesome. Willow looks stunning as well. Yeah. I got all teared up when they played We Are Family. <laughs> Class clown for 1999 goes to Jack Thunder. Nathan. <laughs> he can't even win that. <laughs> That's him. This guy must be a real goof if he beats Xander. You know, none of the people who vote for these things are funny. <laughs> God. It's well deserved, I think, by the look of him. Is Buffy Summers here tonight? Did, did she, um... This is actually a new category. It's first time ever. Uh, I guess there were a lot of write-in ballots, and, um... Well, the, the prom committee asked me to, to read this. You know, finally give us some recognition for saving everyone. Sunnydale High isn't really like other high schools. A lot of weird stuff happens here. Zombie! Hyena people! <laughs> Snyder! Snyder! <laughs> you seem to show up and stop it. Hmm? Most of the people here have been saved by you. Or helped by you at one time or another. No. We're proud to say that the class of 99 the has do this. the lowest mortality rate of any graduating class in Sunnydale history. <laughs> Part of that is because of you. Part of so it. the senior class offers its thanks. What's that umbrella? It's from all of us. And it has written here, Buffy Summers, class protector. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of weird because no one really acknowledges what she does or that anything happens other than the gang, but I guess we were wrong. I'm just going to go wrong here, isn't it? It's doesn't feel right somewhere. I mean, it feels right, but that's why it feels wrong. <laughs> okay, that was really sweet. That was so unexpected. She got a moment then, didn't she? Giles. A high school moment. I wonder if asking Miss Chase to dance would... For God's sake, man, she's 18. <laughs> and you have the emotional maturity of a blueberry scone. <laughs> Just... Have at it, would you, and stop fluttering about. <laughs> Thanks for that. Thanks for that. He's pathetic, this guy, isn't he? Jesus Christ. Is she going to be dancing with that? Oh, that's her, okay. I thought he was going to try and seek her out and going to be dancing with that. I guess not. <laughs> this isn't bad. Regrets. Oh. <laughs> He's all storied out, I guess. Where's Angel? I feel like he's gonna show up in his tux. Every now and then people surprise you. Every now and then. Angel, right? <laughs> Look at him in his tux. Oh, his face. It's turning out to be the perfect night for Buffy, isn't it? You just suspend your disbelief for a second, you could be a high schooler, right? I didn't want to miss it. No. It's just tonight, it doesn't mean that I... I know. I mean, I understand. You dance with me? <laughs> so sweet.
She needed this memory, didn't she? She needed it. Angel's character has got me in this show. I love that. I love that ending. It was really good. I really like that. The episode. Give me a second. Sorry, I didn't expect to cry over that. Jesus. I don't know. It's something about Angel's character. It just it's got me. Angel's character is. It's so tragic and. It's heartbreaking, isn't it? It's heartbreaking to see it. They want it so much, then they can't have it. Um, yeah, but overall, that episode was kind of unusual in that it was so kind of simple. Let me move me. I'm looking at myself on the screen here. I can't. I can't deal with that. Um, yeah, it was so simple. The kind of the the resolution, wasn't it? I thought something else was going to happen, and then it was just uh, like a happy ending, wasn't it? But I. I Usually I wouldn't like that, I don't think, but somehow I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this one. I think it needed it. It felt, this episode, although there was that thing with the, the demons, we didn't actually get to find out how he did that, how he recruited them, did we? Unless I missed something, but it doesn't matter. But there was that thing with them, right? So there was that element in, in, in this episode. However, it felt like the quiet before the storm type of episode. I think it needed this. Because I think the storm's coming, well, definitely with the Ascension, right? And I think they're the, the next two, the last two episodes of the season are a two-parter to do with the Ascension. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot going on. There's going to be a lot of, um, yeah, there's going to be a war, basically, I think. So, yeah, it needed an episode like this, I think. Like, it is like the quiet before the storm. And it's nice to have a happy moment. It's probably the first one we've actually had. Well, we've had, like, happy moments but it's probably the first time Buffy has created a happy memory you know like a big high school thing that's what she wanted right that's all she wanted and she got it I'm so pleased for her not only the angel thing at the end there but also getting that award that was completely unexpected I didn't think and it showed as well that actually everyone does appreciate her and it's everything she's wanted in a way that's happened just in this one night it almost fixes all the stuff she's missed out on, all the stuff she never thought she'd get as a high schooler. Yeah, I think it, I think it was a, a good episode for that, and I really loved it. Um, so Cordelia, I didn't think of that. Why didn't I think of that? Of course, her parents are rich. I've forgotten. <laughs> that was funny with him and the date with <laughs> the um, what is she? She's like, she's a, she's a demon, kind of a demon, right? Yeah, that was really funny. With her <laughs> telling him all about the stuff she remembers. It's so Xander as well to go with her, isn't it? That is so Xander. I don't know why it surprised me, honestly. <laughs> Poor Xander. And he didn't get the class clown award, did he? <laughs> I was so pleased to see Giles happy for Buffy and also genuinely sad for her that it's not going to work out with Angel. Of all people, Giles has the biggest reason. All right, Buffy's mum, maybe, because but she's her mum and she has to protect her. Yeah, I guess. But Giles knows... Everything that could happen to... I mean, Buffy's mom kind of does as well, but Giles really knows. He's been there. He's seen it in action. He knows what can happen. He knows the dangers, and he knows the dangers of Angel, even. Despite all of that, he was still kind of really heartbroken for Buffy, even though he knows it's probably the right thing to do. He really loves her, doesn't he? And he just cares about how she feels, as does Willow, because Willow was trying to back her up in a way and turn, turn Angel into the villain, right, to make her feel better. So Willow's the same, but yeah, I don't know. Sorry about uh, Giles's reaction and kind of got me. But Willow as well. But we know Willow's just a great friend to Buffy, isn't she? She'll always be there for Buffy. And Giles will. Giles is like a dad to her. He is like a dad to Buffy. That was really sweet. So it looks like this new Watcher, Les uh, Leslie Wesley, is going to be in it again. There's no. Like, I I assume that he'd been in it for two or three episodes and. Giles would take over again, but Giles is still an un well, not even an unofficial. He's not a watcher, is he? But he's kind of an unofficial watcher. And yeah, Wesley's still there, and I guess he's going to be in the next season as well. I didn't expect him somehow. I didn't expect him to last, but he has done. Fair play to him. And he's kind of with Cordelia now as well, so that's another thing for him to kind of a reason for him to stay in the show. So yeah, he's going to be in it again. I'm not disappointed really. He kind of makes me a bit. I'm a bit repulsed by him, honestly. I don't know how anyone else feels. Not only because he's you know, Cordelia's a student still, although she's 18 now, but even so, come on. 
she's a student. He shouldn't really be at the school, really, and yet he's at the prom and he's older than her. I don't know how old he is. I imagine he's about 25. That's how he's how old he seems, but maybe not. Maybe he's younger. But even so, it's kind of weird. It just feels weird. And just the fact that I'm assuming he didn't know her age when he first met her and he was really pervy and even when he found out she was a student, he, it didn't stop him. And he was just like, oh, he's getting all kind of sweaty about it. And oh, it was just, it was horrible, that scene. And he's been that way again a couple of times. And I don't know. Yeah. So I, I like him as a cat. He's a good character to be in it. I like his presence. But that element of him, you know, we're supposed to be, I guess, weirded out by him. But I kind of like him at the same time, though. It's kind of weird. So yeah, I'm okay with him being in it, is what I'm trying to say. I'm okay with him sticking around even though he's not my favourite character, but we'll see. We'll see if he gets any character development. Now that Cordelia's 18, he knows she's 18, and, you know, as she gets older, maybe if she's still with her, fair enough, maybe I'll forget about it and it'll be fine, but at the moment it's still weird to me that. I'm wondering if Buffy will find... I thought she was going to find out in this episode that her mum meddled in that, even though she's doing the right thing, and it, I think everyone agrees that it's the right thing. I think even Buffy knows now. I mean, we saw in this episode she realises and Angel knows. I thought that was a premonition dream, but I guess it was just a dream like everyone has dreams, you know, that he knows if they stick together, something like that might happen. You know, it was, a, I guess it was a metaphorical going up in flames, you know, it was about their relationships doomed, right? That's probably what it was rather than the actual premonition that she's going to burn, burn alive. But it could happen though in this show. So, you know, it, it, you, can, you can forgive me for mistaking that might have been a premonition. I mean, they've done the right thing. And this is how, obviously how Angel goes out of it. He's going to leave or he could still die. That's possible. It could be like a prequel. The angel show it still could be that. But I'm thinking more and more now. Yeah, he's just going to leave. And yeah, this angel show is just going to be following him from, you know, in the same world, I guess, but somewhere else. Not in Sunnydale. I'm really intrigued about this show, actually, Angel. I'm really not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm so intrigued just to watch the first episode, even if I don't watch it all. Maybe at the end of the season, we'll have a better idea of what the angel show will be. I guess that's probably likely. But at the moment, I have no idea. So maybe, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe there won't be any clues and we're just going to have to watch this first episode and see what's going on there. But I'm looking forward to that. I'm very intrigued. We didn't see the mayor or faith, um, which makes sense because, as I said, it's kind of the calm before the storm, right? It kind of made sense to not have them in this episode and then, you know, back to reality in the next episode. Yeah, and the finale... I can see it really kicking off. Well, it's going to, isn't it? Of course it is, the Ascension. So, yeah, it kind of made sense that they weren't in this. I'm kind of happy they weren't. It was nice to have a break for them for for an episode, knowing what's to come as well. It really worked, I thought. Okay, I think I'm going to score this one. It wasn't the strongest episode. It definitely wasn't. But I liked it. Pers for personal reasons, I just liked it. I enjoyed it. So I think I'm going to give it an, an, an 8, maybe an 8.25. Probably going to give it an 8 because it wasn't the strongest episode. I'm sure people agree. But for sentimental reasons, for the reason that things kind of got resolved with the relationship as well. And yeah, Buffy just had a happy... I mean, even the the um, demon slaying, let's call it, worked out fine, didn't it, really? It was one hiccup that he had more of them, but she dealt with them pretty quick. So it was just a... It was finally a good episode for Buffy good day yeah and the prom thing it was just a nice memory for her to have now isn't it so yeah for that reason I'll give it an eight I want to give it higher but I think people will probably judge me if I give it a higher mark than an eight because I suspect people agree that it wasn't the strongest one but yeah I just enjoyed it I just liked it yes yeah, so thank you for watching and hopefully you'll join me for the penultimate episode episode 21 and then the finale which I'll probably do in the same night I've said this before and I didn't do that but I probably will yeah, so they'll be up sooner rather than later. So hopefully you'll join me for them. See you then. See ya. Bye.